Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV, and welcome to the live broadcast. If you guys are just now joining us on the live, make sure to leave some comments. We have got three unbelievable cars that we're going to do a, an actual walk-around video for you guys. And because this is a nice, fun live platform, if you're watching it live, then you actually can chat with us. Those will pop right there on the screen and ask us any questions that if you want to. If you're joining us in the rebroadcast of this live video, uh, leave those normal questions down in the comments and we will uh, actually talk to you guys about that in the comments later on and also follow up with uh, some future videos. So without further ado, I'm going to take the camera away from my big fat ugly head and let's focus in on these three vehicles as you guys saw right there. All right, so as you guys can see, we've got three different vehicles for you. We have a brand new sleeper Mustang that we just got through finished well over uh, 700 horsepower, we'll cover that in a second. A customized Southern Comfort Raptor that is currently still available. And then also the Super Duty uh, Black Widow. We're gonna cover all three of these vehicles for you guys. What we'll do is we'll smart, and by the way, let's talk about this for a second. When was the last time you saw a truck that made a Raptor look small? <laughs> That's kind of funny there. But uh, beautiful little vehicles here. We'll talk about those. So let's do this. Let's walk around to the other side. Let's take a look at the sleeper first. So what we do with the sleeper Mustang, and I've got the keys to all three of these vehicles, so we'll be able to show it to you. But this is a Mustang GT. You can actually custom order these things at our dealership, have them built however you want to. This particular one is actually built out with a Roush Performance TVS supercharger, 2.3 liter supercharger so it's going to make well over it's actually rated for 670 horsepower we actually put the supercharger kit on it we put the spec stage 2 plus racing clutch in it and then we also put a roush performance having bad wi-fi okay i apologize about that apparently um, i lost our wi-fi signal there so hopefully you guys can see me but um, just in case you couldn't i'll do a quick recap on this car it's making 622 tires makes a 2.3 liter tvs supercharger and what they're kind of called uh, but the sca raptor actually includes a um it actually includes a uh, a couple different things you have the rear bumper you have a front bumper with a 40 inch led light bar a brand new set of tires and a brand new set of wheels and uh the, the reason i like these raptors is because they are so highly sought after we actually had 17 allocations for the raptor in the 2017 year model and uh we, we have pre-sold every one of them except for one i do believe and we got 17 we got more than anybody in the entire state of alabama uh, by a long shot and uh, so we were actually able to pick up a few incremental um, uh, raptors through southern comfort and so uh, it's a you know not a whole lot but i think we've gotten two this is our second one and i think we've got a total of six of them coming through southern comfort if i had to guess but anyway so let's talk about what you get on this southern comfort it's got an add rear bumper and i know the front bumper is a honey badger bumper but i can't remember the name of which one this one is but the one of the things i like about it is it has a 10 inch led light bar in the back on either side and then it has two dually cube uh, led light bars or i guess those are not bars but led light cubes and uh, so you have have a total of four LEDs in the rear of the vehicle that really really shine bright and those are rigid LED light bars so uh, it's not some cheap aftermarket phony crap that's going to leak and gonna cause issues warranty issues later on down the line uh, later on down the line you don't have to worry about that this one actually comes with the rigid LED light I don't know that they've ever had a warranty claim on those before all right let's look around at the front of the vehicle so once again, Southern Comfort, this one is the Honey front bumper. Let's take a good close look at that. So once again, it's an ADD front bumper. This one happens to have the EcoBoost engine. And so you actually have an EcoFlow technology basically they cut out vents in the front and did not put a winch in there so that way you don't have to worry about the intercooler not receiving enough air so yeah that's kind of the reasoning behind that let's talk about uh, a couple of the different things that uh southern comfort did not do i'm trying to get a good look at it 
So you can see this is the factory suspension. It's the F-150 Fox Racing Shocks, a 3.0 reservoir shock and uh, strut. Uh, it's got a lot of different wheel travel. This is a live video, so I don't have all those specs memorized, but it is pretty cool. That 40 inch LED light bar, I've not driven this truck at night, but I did drive one of the other ones in, holy crap. I mean, that is a bright, bright light when you talk about it. It is unreal. But you have your functional heat extractors in the hood, uh, the EcoBoost. I was not sold on it until I drove it. So don't knock it till you try it. You know that old, uh, uh, old saying, do not knock it till you try it. I'm telling you, this EcoBoost, a bone stock Raptor, feels almost comparable to the 6.2 previous gen Raptor with the Roush supercharger on it. That's how good this EcoBoost feels. Doesn't sound good, but it feels good. So, you know, uh, that's what you get. You get actual, um, yeah, you get live, uh, in a live video, you actually get the, the real life uh, testament on what these trucks are. It is an amazing truck. I would sell my house and buy this truck if my wife would let me. <laughs> So uh, I tell you what, let's do this. I've got the keys. Let's do a little remote start action. Are you guys good with that? All right. Oh, wrong key. That was for the route uh, to the Mustang. <coughs> Sorry about that. This pollen's getting to me. So it doesn't sound too bad, but it's not a V8. It does not sound too bad, but it's definitely not a V8. So I uh, kind of wanted to show you guys that. Now let's, lastly, let's talk about one of uh, the newest and hottest things that we've got on the market. This is the Southern Comfort Black Widow Super Duty. And so what this one comes with is a set, it's a six inch lift kit based on an F-150. You can get it on an XL model, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum. You name the trim level, you can start with that and then build up from there. This one happens to be built on a Lariat platform and it features a set of 37 inch Toyo tires. And so let's zoom in to let you take a look at those. So beautiful Toyo open country tires, uh, the RT, Toyo RT open countries. Uh, they are actually wrapped around a set of fuel custom wheels. And so those are the uh, assault wheels, I do believe, that are made for the Super Duty and they look gorgeous. We also actually offer a uh, Southern Comfort wheel to go with that, but we wanted to try something a little different with this beautiful different look. So that is definitely an option there as well. So now I have not seen any comments coming through on the video, so I'm, I'm hoping you guys are actually being able to see this video because our Wi-Fi has been a little spotty this morning. So hopefully you guys can see me. If you can, put some comments, questions, that kind of a thing. So let's talk about the Black Widow. What did they do to this truck? What did SCA, Southern Comfort Performance, do? Obviously the lift kit, wheels and tires, that's kind of a no-brainer. They also took the rear bumper off. They took the entire front end off. They sanded it all down and painted it because on a Lariat, you actually cannot get any of that stuff right there painted and so what they do is they take it apart paint it for you uh, to get a painted rear uh, front and rear bumper on a super duty you actually have to go up to king ranch and platinum i believe i don't even think you can get a lariat with a uh, crow with a painted front bumper but you also happen to have the pocket style fender flares that are straight from bushwhacker i think uh yeah i think that's who it is yep bushwhacker Bushwhacker right there. So Bushwhacker fender flares, six inch lift kit. Uh, it's a great riding vehicle. It does ride like it has a set of 37 inch tires on it. It does not drive like a street Super Duty. You can tell a little bit of a difference, but for a truck with 37s, it's probably one of the best riding vehicles you'll ever see. Uh, it also happens to have the power deployable running steps. So as we come up closer to the truck, you do have the power steps I love those it's an amp research power running board and it actually works really really well a lot of people have asked me well, when you shut the door how, how do you like what if you want to clean the running board because it automatically comes back up well the way you do that is when you have the running board out you just put your foot on the running board and it's designed to stay out when it feels a little bit of resistance. And so it's actually designed that way, so that way you can actually leave the running board out while you wanna clean the running board or whatever you need to do. So a pretty cool thing. And then just cycle the door to get it to shut back and you're good to go. I tell you what, while we're on this side, let's go ahead and jump inside 
of the Super Duty. So this one is white platinum exterior, but it's got a solid black interior. And to accent the interior, we actually took all of the different trim pieces completely out. The trim piece is completely out and we actually repainted everything on the inside. So that's the reason you get that gloss black and the only way to get that gloss black is to go with the Black Widow. And that's a really cool feature that they added to the truck. Uh, you also happen to have the Black Widow headrest and then it looks really, really nice through that twin panel moonroof on the truck. Beautiful, beautiful interior on the F F-250. And they start with a pretty good interior to begin with. So it's kind of just already improving on a good thing. We also happen to uh, install our own spray and bed liners here. And so uh, as we come to the rear of the vehicle, I'm gonna show you guys another thing that you might like. I'm trying to get the keys, make sure I get the right set of keys this time. So you have, just like on the F-150, you actually have the ability to remotely open up the tailgate right there. And something that I also like is the tailgate step, which is so easy. As you can see, I'm, I got a camera in one hand and I can completely operate the, the, the truck or the tailgate step in the other hand. So, and it makes it really, really nice. And the weight capacity is pretty strong on this thing. Uh, so 350 pounds is the weight capacity as it says on the sticker. So I weigh about 230. So, you know, you can kind of see what you get there. Uh, I, here's one of the things that I wanted to show you guys on the truck and this is an aftermarket deal that Southern Comfort actually includes on the truck because those fender flares push it out a little further we actually include the LEDs in the side vents so that way it looks never really notice it but it makes it DOT approved so kind of something that's pretty neat that not a lot of people realize uh, the other trim piece that we had to sand down and paint is that piece right there Let's hop on the inside and show you a couple pieces here. So as we come in, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I don't know how well you can see that. So I'm gonna try and get it a little bit closer. So this truck actually happens to have Black Widow spiders inside of the speedometer and the tachometer which is pretty stinking cool that they they feature that all at the same time so it's the small attentions to detail that really get this truck going and what's what kind of sets it apart so we had talked uh and as far as the uh now that i've kind of given you guys the quick walkthrough on the, uh three vehicles what does each one of them cost and what do you get for your money? So the sleeper is roughly 51, that one's roughly 83, and then this one is roughly 89. It's sticker price on every all three of those. And so what do you get for nearly a quarter of a million dollars? You can get anything you want to. So uh, the total price on all three of these is a cool $224,308. So that's the one thing I was able to prepare for ahead of time is that you do have nearly a quarter of a million dollars in three vehicles. So if you want some more information about these vehicles, you can give us a shout. Our number will be listed down in the description if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching Town & Country TV. I'm your host, Mitch. Watts. Have a great day.